COVID-19 still has a tight grip on the United States. This Delta variant really has been a game changer. More than one and a half million new COVID-19 cases so far this month in the U.S., according to Johns Hopkins University. Some of us thought that we might see a surge come the winter time, but now we're having a surge in the summer when this was supposed to be the quiet period. Eight states, Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, Mississippi, Nevada, and Texas account for around 24% of the nation's population, but about 51% of COVID-19 hospitalizations in the U.S., according to a CNN analysis of Health and Human Services data. This is not staying in the South, where this force of infection is so strong that we're now seeing it move up into the Midwest. Officials in Dallas County, Texas said Friday there were no ICU beds for children left in the county. If your child uh, has a, a heart, a congenital heart defect or something, needs an ICU bed, or more likely if they have COVID, need an ICU bed, we don't have one. Your child will wait for another child to die. This as the country waits for an authorized vaccine for those 12 years and younger. Children have become the collateral damage of adults who've made a personal choice not to be vaccinated. These children who are falling ill have been infected by unvaccinated adults who are in their environment. I'm John Lawrence reporting.